Round two of conference play is underway. This is the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the HartfordHawks.com Hawks Vision Weekly Update. I'm Keith Arsenault. This past week, we reached the halfway point of America East Conference play for both men's and women's basketball. The women's basketball team finished up the first round of play at home against Stony Brook last Wednesday night. Let's take a look at the highlights from that game. The Hawks got started fast as Shanice Bultron finds Alex Hall on the first play of the game for three. But Stony Brook took an early lead 11-10 thanks to this Whitney Davis jumper. That lead was short-lived though as Sherelle Moore with the turnaround, Jay banks it in, Hawks led 14 to 11. The Hawks finished the first half on a 22 to eight run. They led by 13 at the break. Second half, Ruth Ann Dewadi with the left hand driving to the hole. She had 15 on the day. And look at this ball movement as Daphne Elliott, she gets it and she puts it in from deep. Three for four on the day for Elliott from beyond the arc. She had 11 points. And the Hawks just pulled away. Moore again, 12 points on the night as she put the Hawks up 23 at that point late. And the Hawks went on to win 63-44 against the Seawolves. The Hawks then headed to Albany and got some revenge over the Great Danes with a 65-57 win. Hawks continue their conference play at home against New Hampshire on Wednesday and then on the road at Vermont on Sunday. On to the men's action. We pick it up in the second half. Genesis Musiel short on the three, but Mark Wakama with the offensive rebound and the putback. That put the Hawks within four, and then they took the lead on this Andres Torres jumper on the left wing. The Great Danes came back, though, as Jacob Yachty hit that three to put the Danes up seven. But the Hawks got back in it. Nate Sigma finding Wakama for the dunk. That put the Hawks down 54-52. Two-point game. The next time down the court, a little pick and pop action with Nate Sigma as he hits the three to put the Hawks ahead 55-54. Looking for a little breathing room. Andres Torres goes to the bank. 58-54 Hawks at that point. However, the Danes not going away. Logan Ehrenholt with the three. That put the Danes up 64-60 as Albany ended the game on a 16-0 run to win 72-60. Next up, the Hawks head to New Hampshire Wednesday night at 7 p.m. before heading to Vermont on Saturday afternoon, the first two games of a three-game road trip. Track and field in action at the Joe Donahue Indoor Games in Boston. Tiffany Harrison pacing the women coming in fourth in the 400 meters, while Anderson Emerol sixth place in the 500 meters. They are back in action at the Springfield College Invitational at Springfield, Mass. on Saturday. During winter break, one University of Hartford student athlete got the opportunity for a once-in-a-lifetime trip. Haley Rice, a freshman on the women's track and field team, got the chance to go to Israel thanks to the Birthright program. Before break, we caught up with Haley to talk about her upcoming trip. Birthright is a trip for Jewish kids who have never been to Israel before by the time they're 18 and you go for free for 10 days. All expenses paid, you only have to pay for dinner, all the other meals are paid for. They take you around to all of like the major sites. Um, you see Yad Vashem, which is like a, the Holocaust Museum. Um, I don't know, like the Dead Sea, Masada, like all the major points in Israel that they think everyone should see. I'm really excited to go to the Wall because that's like the main like religious site in Israel. I'm really excited to like finally go. I've been waiting to go for like my whole life. I'm so excited. It's, I was really shocked when I found out I was going because normally they take older people because younger people can keep reapplying. So I'm really, really excited. I, I couldn't believe it when I found out. Well, my mom actually was the one who found out for me because I left my email up and she saw that I had an email from Birthright. But then right after that, I called my brother and my sister, my grandpa, and all my friends. We sent a camera with Haley to Israel and we'll have more photos and video from her trip as well as an interview with Haley coming up later this week. You can catch that on the Hartford Athletics YouTube channel or on HartfordHawks.com. 
Well, that'll do it for this edition of Hawks Vision. Be sure to tune in next Monday for the latest from Hartford Athletics. For HartfordHawks.com, I'm Keith Arsenault.